Right, we've learned three of the people killed during a string of shootings across the city last night were teenagers. The shootings all happened within four hours of each other, and you can see them on this map here. The first happened around seven last night in the Lower Garden District. One of those victims was a 17 year old who was just about to graduate high school. Whitney Miller has more. Yes, yeah, students at McMain have been grieving all day today. That's why Inspire NOLO brought in mental health professionals to help support the students. Zarek LeBeau Jr. was 17 years old and only 12 days away from graduating from Eleanor McMain High School. He was very gifted in math and science, and he was very quick witted with the jokes. Dr. Ashanta Wyatt, an educator and social justice advocate, knew young LeBeau. He was a former student of hers. She was shocked to learn he was killed overnight Thursday. Children being murdered at the hands of other children, that tells us that we're in a crisis and we are not reacting as if we are in a crisis. Three teens were killed in the span of a few hours. Lebeau was shot on Russo Street, just outside the Pizza Hut, around 7 p.m. Another teen was killed on Lawrence Road at the Willows Apartments in New Orleans East. And a third teen was one of two people killed in a double shooting on Tupelo and North Claiborne. Anytime a child dies, it's, it's, it's time to rethink the way we're, we're attacking crime, rethink the way we are policing communities, rethink the resources that are available to people in our community. Wyatt believes it's a systemic issue that won't be resolved overnight, but says there are actions the city can take now. I'm not against the curfew for children. I'm really not. I believe that at a decent hour, there should be no juveniles roaming the street of New Orleans. There definitely shouldn't be any kids out beyond midnight. There's nothing good that's going to come from roaming the streets of New Orleans as a, a, young, a young person, a juvenile, after midnight. In New Orleans, Whitney Miller, Eyewitness News. In addition to those homicides, one person was shot and killed and two others hurt in a shooting near Louisa and North Robertson around 1030 last night.